Susanna Garza, and I'm with the Chicago Public Library, Chicago Lawn Branch. And I'm here today to talk to you guys about catapults. Do you know what a catapult is? Well, catapults are a type of weapon that is used to fling or throw one object from one side to the other side. So today, I'm going to show you how to make that. What are we going to need? We are going to need a spoon or a fork or a spork. You are going to need a rubber band, any type of rubber band. And you are going to need a paper towel roll. This is all you kind of need. These three objects plus something to throw. So you can either throw pieces of paper. Or if you have little pom-poms, you can throw the pom-poms. Or if you have a ping-pong ball, you can throw a ping-pong ball. Now, when we're done, it should look like this. Pretty simple, huh? So let's see if we can get this to work. So the first thing you want to do is grab your paper towel roll, grab your spoon. You might need some help, so ask mom, dad, brother, or sister, anybody who can help to help you if you can't do it yourself. Hold it just like that. With your rubber band, you want to put it right across both the rubber band and the pole and the the roll. On the other side, you do the same thing because we want to make sure it's kind of snug. So here goes your catapult. Isn't that awesome? Do you think it's gonna work? Make sure that your rubber band is down here and not all the way up here because I don't think that's going to work too well. So make sure it's towards the bottom. Do you think it's going to work? Let's find out. Let's start with this little purple pom-pom. I'm going to stand on the side and we're going to see if it works. It flew! It worked! Do you think it's going to work with paper? Let's try it out. That work too. But how does a catapult work? Well, the idea of a catapult is that energy is transferred from one object to another object. And in this case, this part, which is the spoon, can also be considered like the arm of the catapult. And because of the because of the rubber band, which gives it tension, that, that grip right there, you know, with that the energy that we use to pull back the arm of the catapult that's once you let it go it transfers that energy of the arm to the item that you are throwing hmm. so let's try another one that work too so this is one way to do catapult there's multiple ways if you have access to a popsicle stick, you can do a simple one just like this. But it's a little hard to get the piece on there, but I'm sure if you get it on there just right, you can get it to work. That worked. Or you can use popsicles and a spoon. Look at that. Same idea. Here goes the arm. Whatever item we put here, we're going to transfer that energy, right? And the tighter these are, do you think it's going to work? You have to try it out and see. Now we have another one. It's a little bigger. Check that out. See how that works? We can put, I have a rubber band here. Do you think that's going to fly? It went all the way over there. You guys should try it. Try it with your siblings, with your brother, your sister, cousins, anybody in the home. Try it and see who can go the longest with it? Try different things. I tried pom-pom paper and a balled up rubber band. Try different things. See how far that goes. But to help me with this, I use two books. One book, of course, is Table Wars Break the Siege. Check a look at that. It's all a whole bunch of ideas on how to make different types of catapults. Another idea, another one, is this one, Yasmin, 
the builder. This is part of our summer learning challenge where we challenge kids to read 500 minutes, create and discover. This right here that we did today, because we talked about energy and see what throw, what can fly easier. That is something we discovered today. This is part of the books for the summer learning challenge. And you see the builder, she has a new project and she has to come up with an idea on how to make it. And that's how we come across making catapults. We had, somebody had an idea, they put it together and they created it. I'm glad that you came by to see us today and hope to see you guys soon. Thank you and have a safe summer. Bye.